Hi everyone. Uh, good morning. Welcome uh, to the Australian Travel Trade Enrichment Series number four. I hope that you can all hear me okay. Um, it's great to have you joining us today and thanks for those who are joining us um, again. It's great to have you back and for the first timers, welcome. Um, I hope that you enjoy our, our very quick webinar we've got for you this morning. I know that there's a lot of you um, have been kind of zoomed out a little bit due to um, a lot of trade webinars happening currently. So um, we'll keep this short and sweet. We'll keep it to around about 30 minutes um, and we'll crack on. So just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to talk through today, um, I'm going to go through a wee, wee kind of recap of our central trade tools. I'll then be covering off a quick review of our Pacific Coast Music Trail Insider Guide. And then we'll introduce to you our special guest today, Craig Gibbons from Los Angeles Tourism and Convention Board. And then we'll have our Q&A. So um, if you've got any questions throughout the webinar, please post them using the Q&A functionality at the bottom of your screen. And then I'll give you details of our upcoming webinars and then we'll have our Kahoot quiz. So if you haven't already um, downloaded the Kahoot app or logged on to kahoot.com, kahoot um, there'll be time for you to do that. The Kahoot quiz will happen towards the end of the webinar. And uh, just a heads up that the answers to the question will actually be featured during Craig's session towards the kind of second half. So just to kick off, um, I'm just going to recap really quickly some of our central trade tools. Um, so the first one is our US COVID-19 travel guidelines. So this is um, on our travel trade site. Um, all the links um, that are featured today and all the information, we'll send out to you a copy of this presentation and also a recorded version of this webinar. So you've got all the information, all the call to action links and um, at your fingertips. So this is something that's going to be quite um, relevant in the coming months, days, years. Um, so I'd encourage you to say that as a favorite on your um, computer. What it does is it lists down every single city and state in the US and um, it will direct you to that particular state or city's Department of Health website, which has a raft of information in there around all the policies and procedures around COVID and also around um, what is required in terms of traveling to that particular um, city. And it also has information around the major hotel chains throughout the US and also airlines as well around their policies and procedures. Um, and that's just not US-based airlines, that's US, uh, airlines globally. So that's on our travel trade site, as I mentioned. Also our travel trade site, so this is a site that's been dedicated um, and created for you all. Um, it has got a stack of information in there. Um, in there you'll find information around all the cities and states um, and the District of Columbia and the territories. Um, there's our insider guides that are on there, our trip planner. And there's also contact details for every single city and state throughout the USA on that particular tourist boards or DMOs um, for those cities and states. So if you've got um, a question or you need a brochure or you need a map for that particular city or state and there's, they're not represented in New Zealand or Australia, if you just click on the actual name, it'll direct you to that city or state's travel trade site. And in there you'll find all the information that you need. There'll be contact details if you need to reach out and make contact with somebody if you're struggling to get a supplier or any information, it's all in there for you. Our USA Discovery Program, so I've got a wee update for you all here. So I mentioned on our last webinar that we would be having a significant trade incentive that's starting in September. That's been postponed now, and we're more looking at doing that around October, November. Um, it will be significant. It will be probably our largest incentive that we've ever done. Um, there'll be a massive um, prize up for grabs, so keep an eye out for that in November. And I've just kind of showcased here some of our um, Californian and Los Angeles based um, specialist badge, badges that you can complete. If you haven't joined, I encourage you to do so. Um, the link is there and we'll share that with you post the webinar. Um, so it'd be great to have you on board. 
Uh, the Go USA TV app. So this is an app that you can download. It's free. There's no sign-ups or registrations. It's got a stack of information on there and some amazing content. Um, it's in short form. So there's short documentaries. Uh, there's long, uh, full-length films. Um, a lot of the documentaries uh, feature uh, locals from that particular city or state, um, and they tell their stories. Um, yesterday, I just put in the search bar Los Angeles, and it came up with a great story around the last bookstore, which is a massive bookstore in downtown LA, which has um, been converted from an abandoned bank. And the, <clears throat> it features, what, excuse me, it features one of the owners, and his story is incredible and quite inspirational. So encourage you to go and have a look at Go USA TV. Um, our USA Trip Planner, um, for those that don't know about it, um, it's a fantastic tool on our Travel Trade site. It uh, will be hugely useful for you and your clients um, in the future um, for South Drives or Fly Drives in that matter. Um, what it does is you can put in your destinations, a start and end date, and it will create a customised itinerary for you, and it will include all the must-sees and do's in that particular city or state that you're travelling through. Um, it has over 230 million pieces of individual data across all the cities and states, and um, it's downloadable, it's very easy to share, um, you can put your own branding on it. Um, so if you haven't already had a try, I encourage you to go onto the Travel Trade site and have a look at it. Our Facebook group. So thanks so much to those that have joined up already. Um, if you haven't, we would love you to join us on our Travel, um, travel Trade group. It's a closed private group. Um, all you need to do is just go into the uh, search bar on Facebook and then uh, just type in Brand USA Travel Trade Australia and answer a few questions and you're in. Um, if you, we would love it if you wouldn't mind sharing it with all your work colleagues and, and fellow team members. We're keeping it just a travel agent, so we'd kind of, if, if you could refrain from sharing it with your families and friends as much as we'd love to have as many people on board, but we really want to keep it just a travel agent. So um, we'd love to join us. As I mentioned, just enter Brand USA Travel Trade Australia into the uh, search bar within Facebook. That would be great. Okay, so our insider guide that we're uh, kind of featuring today is our Pacific Coast Music Trail. Um, this is located on our Travel Trade site. Um, it's downloadable, <clears throat> it's all localised in kilometres and it's fully customisable as well. And it kind of starts in Seattle, uh, which is the birthplace of uh, the grunge kind of music uh, that was kind of formed in the 80s with the likes of Pearl Jam and Nirvana. And they kind of went from obscurity to really mega stardom. And then it kind of tracks across um, to the Olympic National Park, which is um, a fantastic spot for great outdoors enthusiasts. And then it kind of goes down through Portland and then San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, which has a huge amount of music um, venues and great spots for some music nightlife. And then across to Palm Springs and then finally it ends in Las Vegas. This will be bookable, um, this particular itinerary, um, in the future by Viva Holidays. Um, on the Travel Trade site, there's also links to fantastic images and video content um, that are linked back to this particular itinerary. So that's on our Travel Trade site, as I mentioned. All right, so that now brings me to our very special guest that we have. Um, Today joining us is Craig Gibbons. Craig is the Regional Director for Asia Pacific for Los Angeles Tourism and Convention Board in partnership with Los Angeles World Airport. So um, I'm now going to hand you over to Craig um, to talk about Los Angeles, the city where everybody is welcome. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Wayne. Good morning, everyone. I hope you can all hear me okay. Um, can you hear me, Wayne? Yep, great. Um, so, so great to connect with you all this morning and our Wayne and our partners at Brand USA. Um, I hope you're all doing well in these um, interesting times. Um, and I'm sure many of you yourself have been to LA over the years and you've spent many clients there, which are really appreciative of. Um, so it's a city that many Australians and especially travel agents know really well. So today, rather than kind of teaching you the basics, which I'm sure you, you know about LA, I'm going to go through what's new um, um, 
in the city, the airport, the hotels and attractions. Um, and this will give you guys just a bit of an update um, as to some new products that you might be able to sell um, when we look at returning um, clients to Los Angeles. So firstly, go to start with, um, let me just put it on the screen. Alrighty, so LAX um, is definitely the gateway to the United States or to North America. Um, with so many great flights out of Australia um, into Los Angeles Airport. If you haven't been through LAX in the last three years, um, it really has transformed. Um, the airport itself is going through a $14 billion renovation program, and all of this is cur uh, currently well underway. Um, so opening uh, the end of this year will be our next international terminal, uh, west of Tom Bradley, um, and this will be connected underground and this will offer all new retail and dining, um, more space for aircraft and just streamline the process of uh, getting in and out of the airport with new biometric e-gates and automated screen lanes and this will open um, at the end of the year. Um, one thing that will be really exciting and I know it's been a bit of a pain point sometimes is transfer experience at Los Angeles Airport. Um, so we're currently constructing a monorail, this is well underway in construction. The monorail will connect all nine terminals, so this will make the transfer process, you know, flying into Tom Bradley and then connecting onto a domestic service across the USA. Um, and to connect across the USA, there's over a hundred different US cities you can connect with from LAX, so it makes it a great transfer airport. Um, there'll also be a consolidated car rental facility. So self-drive is obviously one of the best ways to see um, the US and California and rain hit it on that with the Pacific Coast Trail um, product. <coughs> Um, so with that, whatever car hire company you book for the client, they'll pick up, and pick up and drop off at the one location and then hop on the monorail and then go into the train. <clears throat> and then further outside from the airport, the monorail will start and finish at the train station. So we're connecting the airport to the LA metro system, um, which you can now already travel uh, onwards to Hollywood, downtown Santa Monica, and in the next couple of years on the new Beverly Hills train line. Um, so this train line is just being connected at the moment and this should open um, next year. And then the monorail system will connect into the airport and the train station by about 2022. So a great way uh, to keep up to date and find out all the information on LAX Airport as it's such an important airport for the US and for Aussie travellers is flylax.com. This is the airport's official website. It'll give you tips for getting around, how to connect at LAX, terminal updates, news and construction updates, um, and then any changes to health and safety procedures, which can be important for travellers obviously at the moment. Um, so make sure you have a look at that one, flylax.com. Alrighty, so we're going to move on to new experiences and what's kind of coming soon in Los Angeles. So one that I'm really excited about is the Academy Museum opening up in April 2021. Located in the Miracle Mile, it's near Busher and Fairfax or near the Grove Shopping Mall if you know that. It'll feature a six-story museum, eight exhibition spaces, two theatres, uh, a really cool, unique experience called the Oscars experience that simulates walking onto the stage and winning an Oscar. So I think that's going to be really popular with tourists. The movie memorabilia is second to none. They have some amazing uh, things that are on show. One of the things they've already highlighted will be the, uh, the ruby slippers uh, from The Wizard of Oz. And this amazing kind of glass dome sphere structure um, which will be open and you'll be able to have amazing views of the Hollywood sign and the Hollywood Hills, so definitely be a photo opportunity and what people will want to take a photo uh, when they're seeing the attractions in Los Angeles. Uh, for sports lovers, uh, we have the SoFi Stadium, which is opened up near the which is opening up near the airport. This will open up towards the end of the year and will have um, a sports and entertainment complex. So there'll be new hotels, restaurants, shopping. Um, it'll be home to the two NFL or the American football teams, being the Chargers and the Rams. Um, it will be where we have the Super Bowl in 2022, which won't be too far away. We do get a lot of Australians going to the US for the Super Bowl. And then the Olympic Games will be here in 2028, the opening uh, the ceremony um, as Los Angeles will host the Olympic Games in 2028. Um, so this is a really exciting development so far stadium and it's just 10 minutes from LAX airport. 
Um, a couple of more things, I'm um, in the top left, Oceanwide Plaza is a massive new retail and hotel development in downtown, across from Staples Centre, where the Lakers play. Um, this will have a W Hotel um, as well, and it'll have over 200 retail and dining outlets directly across the road from Staples. Moving along off the top right is the San Pedro Public Market, and this is down where the LA Cruise Terminal is, um, the old Port to Call Village, um, and this will be opening up in 2021, and it'll be all outdoor dining, markets, and retail, so there'll be a lot more to do down at the Cruise Terminal. In the bottom left, this futuristic building is the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art by the Hollywood director, George Lucas. Uh, it's $1 billion that he's spending with his own money, so we're pretty pleased about that. And this is an exposition park in downtown LA. It's currently under construction, and this futuristic building um, will, will be an art museum, a movie theatre, surrounded by botanic gardens, and a viewing platform as well. And I think the structure itself will be quite uh, something that people will want to grab a photo of. And then into the bottom right is La Cucina, uh, Mexico, which is a museum, a new one that's currently being built, dedicated to the art of Mexican cuisine. Um, and you can also do cooking classes there and obviously eat some amazing Mexican food, which LA is really famous for and Australians love. Um, on the uh, movie side, we also are expanding the exhibition at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Burbank. Uh, there'll be a new state of the art welcome center, um, a, an increased exhibition space um, and more stuff from the Harry Potter franchise as well as the new immersive DC comics um, exhibition and an interactive kind of back cave that you can go into as well. So this has proved to be a really popular product uh, with Australians um, and they're just adding a lot more to that, so stay tuned. The Universal Studios Hollywood, which is one of the major attractions in Los Angeles and sold a lot by the travel industry, uh, currently under construction and opening towards the end of this year will be the Secret Life of Pets movie franchise. We'll be opening a new ride called Off the Leash. So obviously we opened at Jurassic last year and Secret Life of Pets Off the Leash will open this year. Alrighty then. <clears throat> so we can't talk about LA and not talk about hotels. We have plenty of new hotels under construction or going through refurbishment. And I thought I'd just touch on some, which give you a few ideas about some new properties you could add into your client's itinerary. Um, so the first one is um, kind of some suggested budget hotels. The first one is the Beverly Laurel on the west side. Uh, the newly refurbished property, really great for families um, and a great pool area and it has a California retro vibe. The Wayfarer in downtown is a hybrid hostel hotel. So it uh, has one side of the building is all kind of normal single rooms, double beds, and then the other is an elevated hostel experience. But with the hostel, you can actually book it out for a family. So you can have a quad room and, um, and that as well. So that, that can be really good for those kind of looking to save a bit of money. Also in the mid range is one of my favorite hotels is the Kimi, which is located near the famous Abbott Kimi Boulevard in Venice which was voted by GQ as the coolest street in America. So the best restaurants, bars and shopping in LA and about a 10 minute walk down to the beach and that's the, the Kimi um, in Venice. On the luxury side, um, opened already is the proper hotel in Santa Monica with the first rooftop pool. Um, so if you've got clients who are looking for you know, five star properties and they want something beachside, the proper is one to look at. Um, we haven't had a new hotel um, in Santa Monica for some time, so this is really exciting. All right, so hotels opening um, towards the end of the year and next year, firstly will be the Godfrey um, in the heart of Hollywood. This is a really cool boutique property. Um, it's uh, 220 rooms, um, a rooftop pool, as you can see, this is on the top left, um, and then we'll have a steakhouse called About Last Night. Um, and then on the top right, we have the Fairmont Century Plaza. So if you're a fan of Fairmont, uh, we have one in Santa Monica, but this will be our second one in Century City, which is adjacent right next to Beverly Hills, which is a really um, upscale neighborhood. Um, a huge hotel, um, loads of luxury features, and then it's a five minute walk, if that, next door to the Westfield Century City, which is an open air shopping mall. In the bottom left are the proper hotels. We have proper in Santa Monica, and they're opening a boutique property in a refurbished 1920s building in downtown, which will also have a rooftop pool and a few amazing views um, of the downtown skyline. 
And then also in Hollywood, the Thompson Hotel brand is returning to LA. Uh, this would be about a four, four and a half star property, um, about 198 rooms, and this will be opening in 21. And a rooftop pool, and you'll have um, unparalleled views of the Hollywood sign and the Hollywood Hills, so stay tuned for that one. All right, so outdoors and wellness. This is something definitely that um, people will be looking for when we return to travel um, and to add into clients' itineraries. And LA is surrounded by an amazing mountain and hill ranges, such as the San Bernardino and the Santa Monica Mountains. And we have a range of amazing hikes from um, really easy, such as a popular, such as the famous Runyon Canyon, which is a great place to spot a celebrity or paparazzi, up to some really um, more endurance kind of uh, hikes such as the Rocky Peak Trail and the Bridge to Nowhere. And then in the middle there we've got Rustic Canyon, which you might recognize from Police Academy, the movie as well. And then Mount Hollywood, we can get pretty close towards the back of the Hollywood side. So if you are interested or clients interested in hiking and outdoors, or um, just email me, we have a range of itineraries on our website with all the directions about how to get there and the kind of grade of what kind of hike they are from easy up to the more kind of um, more experienced hiker. Then still in the outdoors theme, um, with the amazing weather that Southern California is blessed with, you know, there's over 290 sunny days a year, average temperature in LA is always 23 degrees. We have amazing beaches and we actually have 120 kilometers of beaches stretching from Venice all the way down to San Pedro. So we've got some really iconic places such as Venice Beach, famous for all the street performers and, what, um, and watching other people at Muscle Beach. Um, down south from the airport is Manhattan Beach, one of my favorites. Um, it's more of a local feel, it's kind of Santa Monica without the huge tourist crowds. So if you've got clients who just want a bit more of a casual vibe, Manhattan Beach is definitely somewhere to check out. But I think for first timers or for those you know, that really love LA, you can't visit LA without seeing Santa Monica Beach with its famous pier and Third Street Promenade. Um, a little hidden gem next to the airport is down the bottom left there is Marina del Rey. Um, quite a few luxury hotels in this area. It's the largest man-made harbour in the US and there's loads of sailing and pleasure boat kind of experiences you can book for your clients. They can sail out to Catalina Island or up the coast to Malibu. Um, then just north of Malibu is in the middle at the bottom there is El Matador Beach, one of my favourite beaches. Consistently rated the most romantic beach in Los Angeles due to all the rock formations and the beautiful walks and the sunsets that take place there. Um, and then just up from that north also in Malibu is the Lee uh, Carrillo State Beach, um, which is a really well-known surf beach and has great rock pools and that you can swim in as well. So there's a host of um, beaches, as I said, in 120 k of coastline to explore. Uh, a great thing to do with Los Angeles for clients is to use it as a base to explore Southern California. And here's just some suggestions of some of the popular places, the travel times, the distance. And a great way to do it, um, obviously, is self-drive, but Amtrak on the train is a great, affordable, reliable way to get around Southern California. Santa Barbara's just two and a half hours north. It's just famous wineries and you know, uh, the architecture there. You can get down to San Diego in three hours or even down to Disneyland, Anaheim is a big brand new station that was built about a year or two years ago. Um, and I've done that a number of times. It's super easy to get from Union Station in downtown to Disneyland in about 45 minutes. Driving, um, one of the best ways to see California also. And again, Santa Barbara, San Diego, or out to Palm Springs, which is beautiful, only about two hours. So consider that using LA as a base and making you um, go out to day trips um, to some of these amazing destinations. Alrighty, so that's kind of it for the update um, on what we have for Los Angeles. Next, I just want to touch on two things. And first is our trade tools and services. And then I'm also going to let you guys know how you can win an additional gift card from LA Tourism. They're giving away three $100 Woolworths gift cards. So stay tuned for that. Um, so how you can work with us or we can provide assistance with itinerary and activity suggestions training, webinars, if you need mats or brochures. Um, if there's any product contacts, if you need contacts for hotels, tour operators, uh, et cetera, please come through to me. Um, we can always put you in touch with any of our members. We have the largest tourism membership database in Southern California. So there's a host of products that we can connect you with as well. Um, so, we also have an online training program called LA Insider, and that's at insider.discoverlosangeles.com. 
a really great way to brush up on all your skills of LA 101, the essentials, the neighbourhoods um, and new regions to explore. And the best thing about it, guys, it only takes 30 minutes and you can do it on your laptop or uh, on your phone. It's also app-based and it'll, just, it'll give you all everything you need to know to sell Los Angeles confidently or just brush up on your skills about LA. So it's called LA Insider and that's at insider.discoverlosangeles.com. And then if you want to stay connected for all the latest about what's happening in LA, events, um, we've got a, a great app called Discover LA. Um, and we have all the social media channels as well. And we've also created a travel agent Facebook page called Los Angeles Tourism Dash Travel Trade. And this is specifically just for travel agents. And this is a great way to find out about new products, new hotels, tours, openings, refurbishments, any safe and healthy protocols. And the best thing, we'll be running a lot of uh, travel agent only competitions on this site as it's just for travel trade. So that's on our dedicated Facebook page for Aussie travel agents and make sure you join that one. Alrighty, so how to win a uh, $100 gift card. So we've got six cards, so we're doing three in New Zealand and three in Australia. So the Woolworths ones are for Australia, obviously, so there'll be three there. So all you need to do is go to our training program, insider.discoverlosangeles.com, complete the LA Insider online training program by the end of the month, so August 31st, and best of all, I said it only takes 30 minutes, then just email me your completion certificate to oceana at latourism.org. We'll next email. So all you need to do is go to insider.discoverlosangeles.com, do the training, and then email your certificate to oceana at latourism.org. All right. Um, thank you. Thanks, Craig, so much um, for that. That was um, quite a lot of information um, in, in a short time. Um, so many great things to look forward to in the fantastic city of uh, Los Angeles. Um, team, if you've got any questions, uh, please feel free to post them now. Uh, that, that would be great if you could. Um, We've got a question here from Maria. Um, are you still eligible if you already have completed the LA Insiders training? Um, I guess that's around the competition, Craig. Um, it is for just new courage, Maria. Would you mind just repeating that again? Sorry, Craig, because um, I had my device not on yeah. and it was quite hard to hear. Oh, Maria, yeah, it's the new new sign up, but if you encourage uh, a colleague to sign up as well and then send in their certificate, we'll have a bonus gift card prize for you. Thanks, Craig, and thanks, Maria, for your question. Uh, we've got another question here from Anne. She's asked, will the new train connections at the airport take you to Union Station as well? Yep, so Union Station is the big main station, so it's like Central or Southern Cross in Melbourne, and yes, the uh, the Green Line will go into Union Station. So you'll be able to go from the downtown Union Station, connect onto Amtrak, et cetera, like that. So yes, uh, and that's possible. Great, thank you, Craig, and thanks, Anne, for your question. If you've got any more questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to me at my email address there, and I can either forward them onto Craig um, if I can't answer them, um, but uh, thanks everyone for your questions. Um, we'll just now crack on. Um, so our upcoming webinars. Uh, so two weeks today, we'll have for the very first time Discover Puerto Rico joining us. We'll be having a um, the team from the capital of Puerto Rico, San Juan, joining us, which will be really exciting. That's the first time um, we've ever talked about Puerto Rico, so it'll be great to learn something new. And then two weeks after that, uh, we've got uh, Zachary Smith from Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority joining us also. So earmark those. We'll have um, details of those webinars coming out to you also. So you don't worry, you won't miss out. And um, also just a reminder that we'll be um, sending out to you a recorded version of this webinar and also 
a copy of this particular presentation so you'll have details of the competition that Craig just mentioned and all the links um, to all the information that's been covered today.